So what's an arc reader and why would I want to use one? In today's video, we're gonna talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author and I recently published my second book, which is a fake relationship romance titled Out of My League. You can find the link to that book in the description box below. And I also have another book that I published this year, which is a young adult friends to lovers romance titled What Are Friends For? Both of those books will be linked down below. Welcome back to my channel. Since the publication of my second book, Out of My League, I've been getting a lot of questions about ARC readers. So I compiled the list of my top five most asked questions you guys have been asking me about ARC readers, so I thought it would be a fun time to do a video during release week when my ARC readers kind of just posted their reviews. This intro is not going to be long, but before we do hop into the video, be sure to scroll down and tap that like button and tap that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you want to, I post writing tips, writing vlogs, and with July coming up, which is Camp NaNoWriMo, we are going to be doing Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs once again. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe. All right, we're not gonna wait anymore. Let's dive in. Question number one, what is an ARC reader? So going back a little further to the word ARC, that is an advanced review copy. So what an ARC reader is, is they're getting a re advanced copy of your book in exchange for an honest review. Pretty simple, right? The next question I often get asked is, why would I want one? ARC readers can be very beneficial in launching your book. So for me, I used ARC readers both for my first book and my second book, and it went amazingly. What an ARC reader is, you give them a free copy of your book in exchange for a review, but you give those free copies early. So come release day, their reviews are done and ready and they're ready to go live, which means you're going to get a few reviews on release day right off the bat when you are promoting it and people go to buy it. You might also want ARC readers because the amount of reviews you get kind of boosts your book in the algorithm. Well, it doesn't kind of, it does. I'm sure you've heard this all over talked about constantly, but reviews are so important for authors and especially indie authors. It can be really tough to ask people to leave reviews. It may be uncomfortable to ask and it's really hard to convince someone to take time out of their day to help you out. However, an ARC reader is signing up to do just that. They are signing up to help you with your book launch if you give them a free copy to review. Once you get a certain amount of reviews, Amazon starts to boost your book, and if you get reviews on Burns and on the other platforms, that's important too. However, the top contenders are Amazon and Goodreads, because that's basically where readers go to buy their books, typically. Not always, I mean, that's just where I've heard is most important, especially Goodreads, because Goodreads is the biggest platform for adding books to your TBR and all that stuff, so Goodreads is really important too. I personally love to push the Amazon reviews because I feel like those help my business the best. That's where I see the most sales. So Amazon review is really important to me. And having ARC readers helps you boost that number of reviews faster. So you're not waiting months hoping to get a random review. You have signed people up on the part of, to be a part of this team to help you get to a certain review number faster, if that makes sense. The next question I get is, how do you know if ARC readers are going to leave the reviews? Sometimes you will get people who don't leave reviews. That's just how it happens. For Water Friends 4, I think I had 15 ARC reviewers and I think I only got 10 reviews from that grouping. So sometimes you're not going to get all of the reviews and that's just the way it works. Sometimes people are too busy and sometimes the review will come in months later when they've actually had time to read the book. But sometimes the book just isn't for them and instead of leaving a negative review, they just don't review at all. So there's not always a guarantee that if you have 30 ARC readers, you're going to get 30 reviews. There's never going to be a guarantee. Most of the people who do sign up to be an ARC reader are doing this because they want to help you. The free stuff is a plus. It's kind of, it goes hand in hand. They want the free stuff, but they also want to support you on your journey. And more often than not, you will get the reviews if you open um, the sign up sheet to your list of followers because they're following you for a reason, right? Let's take a quick pause here so you can scroll down and like this video if you have not already. And if you feel so inclined, you can tap that subscribe button. Subscribes, likes, comments help so much for small YouTubers like me. Helps boost us in the algorithm and on the platform and your support just mean the world to me. So if you want to, great. If you don't want to, that's okay too. But yeah, let's get back into today's video. And that comes to my next question. 
where do I go to find ARC readers? For me, I branched out on my social media platforms. So for What Are Friends For, I sent it to all of my platforms. I said, if you want to be a reviewer, please sign up using this Google form. Um, but for Out of My League, I only promoted it really a little bit on my Instagram and then on my YouTube. I left it in, a, in the description box in a link and I found my ARC readers that way. So really just reach out to your platform, to your community, to wherever you're present online. Those are the people you want to target. You don't want to target friends and family because friends and family cannot leave reviews on Amazon. It goes against their terms of service and it can actually hinder your book and they might, and Amazon might even pull it down entirely. So you want these people to not be connected by family relations, but if they're connections you made online, that's completely fine. And we come to my final question is how many ARC readers should I use? Now this question is completely up to you. It really depends on what you're looking for in terms of reviews right off the bat and how many copies you want to give away for free. I know a lot of people struggle with the idea of giving away copies of their book for free because you worked so hard on it and the idea of giving it away for free is just like kind of soul crushing a little bit but it's a give and take. It's an investment. You're giving these copies away for free in return for a review that will boost your book in the algorithm and open it to so many more readers. It's really what you feel most comfortable with. Like I said, for What Are Friends 4, I sent out 15 and I only got 10 reviews. And for Out of My League, I sent out 31 and the reviews are still coming in so there's not enough sufficient data to report on how many reviews I got total. But I did send out 31 ARC copies and now it is the 18th today, I think. Is it the 18th? So it's two days after release day and I am already at 12 reviews on Amazon, which is insane. Those are the five most common questions that I get asked about ARC readers. But before we close out the video, I want to go over with you guys my ARC Reader application. So I have an application for ARC Readers just so I can make sure everybody is on the same page with me and all that stuff. We went over applications and forms like this for my beta reading series and I will link that down below and up in the cards if you want to check that out. And I will also leave a link to my website down below that will link to a PDF on my website that you can download and use this for a template for a form. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. Awesome. So what you want to do, what is important, you want to get all the information about your book across nicely. You don't want to leave the reader questioning what genre it is, what's the word count, how long, because if they're having questions, they most likely won't sign up. If they sign up and agree to be an ARC reader for a crime thriller and they don't like crime thrillers, that kind of puts them and you in a pickle because they just got a free copy that they don't want to read. And you want ARC readers who are actually interested in your genre. You don't want ARC readers who don't like your genre because it wouldn't be a good representation of that genre. How many times can I say genre? But yeah, so coming, giving all of the information out there up front is super important. It reads, this form is to express your interest in being a part of an ARC team. What's an ARC team? Well, ARC stands for Advanced Review Copy and is a common practice in the publishing world to spark interest in new books by allowing readers early access and opportunities to review. I am looking for a handful of people who are avid readers and fans of YA romance who would like to get an early copy of my book out of my league to review. And then I ask them to please understand the following. Review copies are ebook copies only. I do this and a lot of people do ebook copies only because it costs a lot of money to ship if you're shipping to a lot of people. Review copies will be limited so if you don't get chosen it doesn't mean I don't love you bunches. This is something I struggle with because I don't want to offend anybody by not picking them for an ARC reader but I can't pick everybody. I had 50 ARC readers sign up for my book and I just couldn't pick them all and it broke my heart. Um, so I always try to clarify that I still love them and I'm so sorry that I couldn't pick everybody. Review copies are for your eyes only and the content is not to be shared publicly in any way. The only way you may share it is a screenshot of the cover on your device. Once it downloads to their Kindle or whatever their device they're reading on, they can screenshot the cover, post it to their social media. You might have seen these kinds of posts I've been resharing um, in the past few months. So it's posts like that that are okay, but any content on the inside, no go. There is no financial compensation for reviews. This is important just in case anybody isn't too clear on that. Please post your review on June 16th, which is release day. 
Not everybody is able to do that, but that is kind of a guideline, you know? It's not a hard and fast rule, but I would prefer if they posted it on release day. If they can't though, that's totally okay. And then I said, if you are selected, you will receive your book via book funnel on whatever day I'm sending it on. I use book funnel. I might do a whole video on book funnel because I think it is an amazing service. Um, if you guys use BookFunnel, let me know in the comments down below because I'd be super interested to know. Then we do my normal preliminary questions. What is your email address? What is your first name? What is your last name? And I say the initial works too. Google Form actually collects emails anyway, but sometimes the email address that they use to do the form isn't the same one that they want to use to get the copy. So I like to ask that question twice. I ask, have they ever ARC read for me, me before? This info was just for me. They didn't have to ARC read what are friends for to be able to ARC read out of my league, but to keep that in mind, it was really nice for me to know. And then to be an ARC reviewer, they must be willing to post Goodread on Goodreads and Amazon. Is this okay? Some of my ARC readers got back to me on release day when they found out they couldn't post on Amazon. So Amazon requires that you spend $50 on their site to be able to leave any sort of reviews which in my opinion, not very cool. So that means that some ARC reviewers couldn't leave their reviews on Amazon. However, they said that they left it on other platforms like Barnes & Noble, Apple, Kobo, and Goodreads because anybody can leave a review on Goodreads. So sometimes it might not work out for them to leave it on Amazon, which is a big bummer because like I said, Amazon is my number one kind of target, I would really prefer Amazon reviews, but sometimes that's just not possible. Um, if people know ahead of time that they won't be able to leave an Amazon review, having this question makes them be, okay, I know I can't leave Amazon reviews, so I won't sign up. And then I give them a link to add um, out of my league to their Goodreads TBR. Uh, it just helps boost that number in case that's important to you. And then we get to the accepting the following part. This just says that they understand the rules. If selected for the ARC team, I will receive a review copy two or more weeks before the official release date. I will not share this file with anyone or post it so that others may access it. I will not receive any financial compensation for reading an ARC or writing reviews. Sarah will use my email provided to contact me regarding ARCs, to send me a copy of the book via book funnel, and also to send follow-up reminders to review and to say thank you. So yeah, that is the form that I use to kind of get ARC readers to apply. Um, and it helps to have all that information in one place instead of trying to DM people on multiple platforms. Having it like this is super duper helpful. I hope that answered some of your questions regarding ARC reviewers. If I left anything out, please comment down below and I would love to talk with you about that. And if you have ever used ARC reviewers before, leave those comments down below too because I'd love to hear your experience with it. In the coming weeks, I want to do a follow-up video on how my book launch went, how many ARC reviewers I had in the first week and all of that stuff so if that's something you're interested in too be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it otherwise thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you so much for celebrating release week with me this is the final video in our release week lineup and it has been such an amazing week i am so lucky to have you beautiful amazing people in my life and to support me and encourage me the way you have this week i have never felt so much love than i have this week so thank you so much i really couldn't have asked for a better week thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on monday with another video bye